Japan have created some of the greatest horror movies ever to be made, from Ringu, to Audition, and to Dark Water. Written and directed by Koji Suzuki and Hideo Nakata, the creators of Ringu, the story follows the lives of a mother in the middle of a divorce and her daughter who move into a new apartment and experience strange occurrences after a leak appears in their ceiling. Dark Water is a great psychological drama mixed with terrifying horror. Great acting, phenomenal special effects, beautiful cinematography, and a haunting score, the 2002 Japanese supernatural picture takes everything that made Ringo a masterpiece and up to the ante, creating one of the most memorable and underrated films of all time. Unlike the American horror films of the 21st century, which include gratuitous gore, false scares and no mystery, Dawata uses the ghost to create sympathy and sadness rather than a mindless killer with no real motive. The ghost in this movie, dressed in a yellow raincoat and long, dark hair, is an eerie, terrifying character with a personality, and one that will stick with you long after viewing the film. Rather than using jump scares to elevate the plot, Dark Water takes its time to create an unsettling tension, which continues to increase as more incidents occur, from a red bag, to the leak in the ceiling, and the hands coming from within the bath. All of these lead into one of the greatest final acts ever to be filmed, where the stakes are raised, emotions fly, and one of the most horrifying yet upsetting scenes, in my opinion, of all time, buries its way into your mind and refuses to leave. Hideo Nakata did yet another amazing job at directing a supernatural horror film and adapting another Koji Suzuki story. The sound design was very well done and the colour palette for the film, which seemed to be a murky yellow, was consistent, visually aesthetic and gave the movie a horror atmosphere. The elevator scene is one of the many shots in this movie that almost feel surreal, as though the characters have walked into a dream and it turned into a nightmare. Without making the film too supernatural, which a lot of recent horror movies have done with flying furniture and gaping holes to the underworld, that water keeps the supernatural elements to a believable amount, making us feel as though the movie could really happen. Overall, I would say that this film is easily the scariest movie I've ever seen with images that will stay with me forever. If you're a fan of Japanese horror, supernatural or psychological dramas, or good movies in general for that matter, I would definitely recommend watching this film because that water is amazing. Thank you for watching everybody, if you did enjoy the video please leave a like and comment if you enjoyed this new type of editing, if you haven't subscribed please do already and I will be doing more horror movie reviews and foreign movie reviews in the near future so thank you for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.